वेलकम बैक इन द चैप्टर ऑफ हेल्थ प्रोग्राम्स इन इंडिया इन टुडे सेशन वी आर डीलिंग अबाउट नेशनल ट्यूबरक्यूलोसिस एलिमिनेशन प्रोग्राम बिफोर गोइंग इन टू द प्रोग्राम लेट एस सी वॉट इज ट्यूबरक्यूलोसिस ट्यूबरक्यूलोसिस इज एन इन्फेक्शियस डिसीज कॉज्ड बाय बैक्टीरियम माइको बैक्टीरियम ट्यूबरक्यूलोसिस यू कैन सी इट इज कॉज्ड बाय माइको बैक्टीरियम ट्यूबरक्यूलोसिस टीबी जनरली एफेक्ट्स द लंग्स resulting in pulmonary tuberculosis but it can also affect other parts of the body when it affects other parts other than the lungs it is known as extra pulmonary tuberculosis now you can see in the picture central nervous system then it is resulting in meningitis it acts on the bones and the joints the tb of the spine is known as pots disease so we know that it can affect other parts of the body as well resulting in extra pulmonary tb one patient with infectious pulmonary tb if untreated can infect 10 to 15 persons in a year if one person is having this infectious pulmonary tb you can see infectious pulmonary tb he has the capacity to infect 10 to 15 people in a period of 1 year Let us begin with the program. National Tuberculosis Program (NTP) has been in operation since nineteen sixty two. However, the treatment success rates were unacceptably very low, and the death rates were very high. As a result, to overcome these lacunas or the deficiencies, so we see that in nineteen sixty two. National Tuberculosis Program. Even though it was an operation, yet the death rates were high. The you know treatment or success, that is cure rate, were low. So what happened? The government of India decided in nineteen ninety three to overcome these lacunae. Lacunae is nothing but the deficiencies of these program, the drawbacks, or what it is not able to. fulfill uh, they try to overcome the lacune by uh, giving a new thrust to the control activities by revitalizing the national tuberculosis program with international agencies so what did we understand by this national tuberculosis program was in operation since 1962 then uh, the death rates were high cure rate was low so the government decided that they need to give a new thrust to the activities new uh, you know some uh, new changes and uh, extra uh, push up like motivate is a thrust giving a new push up to the activity taking it on a higher level by revitalizing the national tuberculosis program with international agencies they combined with this international agencies they took their assistance they uh, requested the international agencies for example you can take your world health organization and they took their assistance so what did this international agency say what did they suggest let us see the revised national tb control program adopted the internationally recommended dots strategy as the most systematic and cost effective approach to revitalize the tb control program in india so what did they do the re revised now we have revised right now we have revised our national uh, uh, tb control program so the national tuberculosis program has been revised so the revised national tuberculosis control program which is nothing but rntcp they adopted the dot strategy what is dots directly observed treatment we are giving a treatment directly observed treatment short course okay directly observed treatment short course as the most systematic and the cost effective so it was cheap also it was affordable it was affordable to the government it was affordable to the community so they adopted this dots strategy which we will be discussing in the further slides as the most systematic most cost effective approach to revitalize the tb control program in india and the adoption of the smear microscopy to get a reliable and early diagnosis 
so they also introduced the smear microscopy you can see the smear and now this smear will be kept under a microscope and it will be studied the smear microscopy for the early as well as reliable trustworthy okay they can say this diagnosis is correct to get a reliable and early diagnosis we uh, the adoption of the smear microscopy was done further the dot strategy was adopted for the provision of the treatment and plus they adopted the dot strategy the supply of drugs was also strengthened to meet the requirements of the system the drugs okay the drugs like rifampicin so whatever the uh, tb um, like drugs treatment for the treatment what all drugs we uh, use so that uh, the supply of these drugs was strengthened to meet the requirements of the system moving on to the objectives of national tb elimination program so we completed the introduction part so we are done with the introduction how the program started what were the drawbacks and in order to overcome the drawback that is what was the drawback death rate were high and the cure was low in order to overcome this they went uh, to the international agencies asked their assistance so the government of india uh, asked their assistance so they uh, the revised national tuberculosis control program they adopted the dot strategy under international assistance uh, uh, and the dot strategy was the most cost effective and uh, also very systematic uh, in addition to this the smear microscopy was introduced and uh, the supply of uh, drugs was strengthened moving on to the objectives of revised national tuberculosis control program now what did the ob what was the objective of this revised national tuberculosis program that they have to achieve at least 85% cure rates of the infectious cases of tb so uh, if there are infectious cases of tb they need to have 85% cure rate through the dot strategy involving the peripheral health functionaries so they said that in the first place our goal is to achieve 85% cure rate of infectious diseases how can we achieve this cure how can the achievement occur by adopting the dot strategy in the first place second thing involving these peripheral health functionaries uh, like the asha worker anganwadi worker uh, auxiliary nurse midwives so uh, anm workers all these uh, peripheral health functionaries we can involve them and then uh, the ngo uh, ngos these people and achieve the 85% cure rate augmentation of case finding so augmentation like enlarging or improving the capacity of the case finding activities through quality sputum microscope to detect at least 70% of estimated cases we saw that one introduction was sputum smear microscopy was introduced so with the help of this sputum smear microscopy we can detect at least 70% of the cases clear guys two things what are the objectives first thing is in the first place 80% cure rate adopting dot strategy and involvement of peripheral health workers in second place we are uh, augmenting uh, the uh, case finding activities by the help of this sputum smear microscopy and we are detecting 75% of the cases 70% sorry 85% a uh, cure rate and 70% we need to detect the cases using this sputum microscopy clear objectives are clear now let us move on to the most important that is dot strategy this is very important a dot strategy under the national tuberculosis program uh, national tuberculosis elimination program you have must and should mention about the dot strategy and its five components let us begin with the five components of dot dot strategy political bill and administrative commitment first we need to have an administrative commitment along with the political bill diagnosis should be done by the quality assured sputum smear microscopy in the second place we need to diagnose it 
then adequate supply of quality assured short course chemotherapy drugs once the disease is diagnosed we are supplying the quality assured okay good quality high quality quality assured short course chemotherapy drugs we are giving them drugs or the treatment directly observed treatment and this uh, this treatment is directly observed treatment okay lastly systematic monitoring and accountability we are taking the responsibility of it we are doing the systematic monitoring of the cases so very simple under dots strategy what do we have okay first thing the political bill and administrative commitment diagnosis uh, supply of uh, short course chemotherapy drugs and then we have directly observed treatment and systematic monitoring and accountability okay i hope it is clear moving on to stop tb strategy so in 2006 the stop tb strategy was announced by the world health organization and after the announcement by world health organization this stop tb strategy was adopted by rntcp the components of the stop tb strategy includes pursuing the quality dots that is expansion and enhancement of dots addressing tb or hiv and mdr cases contributing to the health system strengthening also the stop tb strategy they are one of the component is they contribute to the health system strengthening engaging all care providers so we are engaging all the care providers from a grassroot level and uh, the medical colleges the hospitals clinic private sectors public sectors uh, ngos uh, non governmental organizations we are engaging all the care providers in the society in order to bring in the effectiveness of the program empowering the patient and the communities in addition we have enabling and promoting research the diagnosis treatment and vaccine so this was about the stop tb strategy where we are giving the quality dots addressing the cases tb hiv mdr tb cases contributing to the health system strengthening engaging how can we uh, strengthen our health system we can strengthen the health system by engaging all the care providers and uh, we can also empower the patients and the communities by engaging all the uh, care providers and enabling and promoting research okay now in 2014 the world health assembly approved the ntb strategy ntb strategy was approved in the year 2014 by world health assembly uh, so we studied dot strategy then stop tb strategy now end tb end tb strategy is a 20 year program with a vision of a world with a zero death so what is the vision what is the aim of the stop tb uh, end tb strategy is they have need a world which is having zero deaths zero disease uh, suffering due to tb so they wish and they aim with a vision they have uh, started this ntb strategy which is a 20 year program with the aim of zero death disease and suffering due to tb okay in the view of national tuberculosis uh, program okay mm. wait there's some error here in the view of end tb okay it's not it's in the view of end tb targets the program has been renamed from revised national tuberculosis control program which is nothing but rntcp it has been renamed to national tuberculosis elimination program so what happened this program has been renamed from revised national tuberculosis program into national tuberculosis elimination program 
so uh, we are clear so far now we are moving on to tb laboratory services the laboratory network under national uh, tuberculosis elimination program is a three tier system for the provision of diagnostic services and maintaining its qualities so we see that the peripheral laboratories are situated in the public sectors like the dispensaries phc chc referral hospitals major hospitals clinics and uh, we also uh, see these laboratories situated in the medical colleges in ngo sectors these peripheral laboratories are situated they help in the diagnostic service they give the diagnostic services they aid in diagnosis and also maintaining its quality okay some of the labs do not have the facility for sputum microscopy so the sputum collection centers have been established in such areas like the tribal areas deserts difficult to reach areas it could be a very hilly area in such areas where there is no facility for sputum microscopy or sputum smear the sputum collection center has been established in addition the large hospitals and medical colleges have given the facilities of x-ray rapid molecular test cadrage based nucleic acid so you can see cbnaat test cadrage based uh, nucleic acid test okay and lime probe assay fine needle aspiration cytology histopathology and culture so these uh, additional services are also been added in these uh, peripheral laboratories so under peripheral laboratories the first thing is uh, we have uh, these uh, centers are situated in uh, the phc from start from the grassroots level they are situated in phc then chc then referral hospital is also chc right so referral hospitals and then uh, it could be urban hospital private hospital so they are situated in chcs any referral hospitals uh, specialty clinics uh, tb hospitals medical colleges private ngo sectors and so on and these peripheral laboratories if there is no facility of sputum microscopy we have this sputum collection center in uh, tribal areas deserts hard to reach areas in addition to this uh, sputum collection center we also have the provision of digital x-ray rapid molecular test cadrid batch nucleic acid test and line probe assay and fine needle aspiration cytology histopathology and culture so all of these facilities have been included so we see that uh, these have been included as the diagnostic services for the tb at the state level a nodal laboratory is designed as intermediate reference laboratory at the state level we have intermediate reference laboratory this intermediate reference laboratory includes cbnaat sites and drtb centers so you can see here uh, cbnaat sites so we studied just now uh, the cabridge uh, the cat uh, the cartridge based uh, nucleic acid amplification test so we studied about the cartridge cartridge well let me write it clean okay uh, we have this cartridge based cartridge base nucleic acid amplification test these centers it is a test and uh, to perform this test the centers are established uh, to diagnose rifampicin resistance among the tb patients so the drug rifampicin which is used to treat tb uh, we need to check those patients who have been resistant to this drug and uh, this test is performed in cbnaat centers they also serve to diagnose the tb 
DRTB centers, you can see here, DRTB center, they are specialized centers for clinical management of drug resistant TB. For the clinical management of the cases which are having a drug resistant uh, TB, drug resistance, then they are known as drug resistant TBs. They are managed under this DOTS room or DRTB center. Okay. At the central level, now we are going to the central level, there are six designated national reference laboratories. We have uh, at the state level, we had intermediate reference laboratory, right? Intermediate reference laboratory. At the central level, we have national just reference laboratory at the national level. Central is national level, okay? national reference laboratories in the national reference laboratories six designated national laboratories uh, were uh, you know uh, included they are namely national tuberculosis institute which is in bangalore and we have national institute for research in tuberculosis nirt that is in chennai and National Institute of Tuberculosis and Respiratory Diseases. This is in Delhi. Let us write it down. National, National Tuberculosis Institute. National Tuberculosis Institute. Okay. Bangalore. Then we have National Tuberculosis national uh, institute first comes national institute national institute for research r stands for research in tb it is in chennai national institute of tuberculosis and respiratory diseases rd stands for respiratory diseases then we have jalma JLMA Institute. This JALMA Institute, National JALMA Institute, it is in Agra. You can see here the National JALMA Institute, it is in Agra. And we have BMHRC, which is nothing but uh, Bhuvaneshwar and Bhopal. Bhuvaneshwar and Bhopal Memorial Hospital and Research Center. Memorial, Memorial Hospital and research research center then we have snrl snrl is nothing but the supra national reference laboratory supra okay supra national reference laboratory so these are the six uh, designated national reference laboratories moving on to the ntep endorsed tb diagnostics so, what are the NT, National Tuberculosis Elimination Program endorsed TB diagnostic? What are the diagnostic tests? In the first place, we have smear microscopy. You can see here the smear microscopy for acid fast bacilli. The sputum smear stained with zeal nail stain staining. So, we have this smear being stained with zeal nail stain staining what stain they have used they have used the they have used zeal nielsen staining for the sp uh, sputum smear is being stained with zeal nielsen staining we also have fluorescent stains and they are examined under the direct or indirect microscope with or without the led so there are two stains one is zeal nielsen staining and the other stain is fluorescent staining. Smear microscope for acid fast bacilli. In the diagnostic test, what you have to write? The first thing is smear microscope for acid fast bacilli. Under which we have sputum smear with the zeal nail stain. And then second is fluorescent staining. Moving further, we have culture media. In culture, we have solid media, which is Lowenstein uh, Janssen media, or we have liquid media, which is Middlebrook. It is using a manual semi automatic or auto automatic machines. Uh, we have this, uh, you know, culture being prepared. And then uh, this is about the solid and liquid culture media. Solid, we have Lowenstein Janssen media, and liquid media, middle 
Brook. Moving on, the rapid diagnostic molecular test. So we have this conventional PCR-based line probe assay for this MTB complex or real-time PCR-based nucleic acid amplification test for MTA complex. So this rapid diagnostic molecular test are found. You can see in the picture rapid. You can see here RM RDMT uh, rapid. The uh, molecular test, okay, rapid molecular test, followed by radiography, where uh, where available we have radiography, followed by the tuberculin skin test. You can see in the picture tuberculin skin test. So these were the diagnostics which were involved in. Uh, the NTEP National Tuberculosis Elimination Program uh, included these diagnostic. One is smear smear microscopy, where we have zeal nail stain staining and fluorescent staining. Moving further, do you recall, guys? Second slide. What did we study? Culture solid low stain Janssen media and liquid media middle brook and uh, rapid diagnostic molecular test, radiography and tuberculin skin test. Following with the new initiatives which are included in the TB is TB elimination program is Nikshay. Nikshay, the TB surveillance is done using case based case based web based IT system. So this is a IT system uh, wherein uh, Nikshay is uh, in in uh, included. Nikshay, the word is a combination of two Hind uh, Hindi words. That is ni and she. What is the meaning of ni and she? Ni and she means the eradication of TB. This software was launched in around May 2012 and it has the following functional components. That is master management. This TB uh, program, Nick She, it has master management. It contains the user details. The TB patient's registration and also the details of the diagnosis. So let us see what are all the functional components. It has master management, user details, TB patient's registration and the details about the diagnosis, about his HIV status, the follow up, if he has any uh, contact tracing and what was the outcome of uh, the patient. So that TB regis patient's registration and all the details regarding his HIV status, regarding the follow-up, his outcome, dot provider, all of that will be recorded. And it also contains, contains the details of solid and liquid culture. When we studied the diagnostic, we had studied that uh, about the diagnostic uh, methods wherein we had solid and liquid culture. So if the person has undergone the uh, solid uh, uh, like culture or his uh, it is liquid culture, that uh, information should also be present. And uh, DRTB patient's registration along with his or her details. Referral and transfer of patients, if any, has to be noted. Private health facility registration and TB notification. So if the patient has got uh, this private facility, then that registration has to be done and TB notification. Mobile application for TB notification is also under the scheme of Nikshay and SMS alerts are given to the patient on registration. We also give an SMS alert to the program officer and uh, automated periodic reports are uh, sent or received uh, during the case finding, during the sputum conversion and treatment outcome. So clear guys about Nikshay. Okay, let us just quickly revise. The Nikshay, it is uh, derived from two Hindi words, Nik and Ni and Kshay which means eradication of TB and it has uh, functional components which includes master management, user details, yeah, master management, user details, TB uh, patient's registration, details about his culture and uh, DRTB patient's registration, referral, 
TB notification, mobile applications TB notification, SMS alerts given to both the register as well as the officer and uh, the automated periodic reports have also been included. TB notification according to the government of India notification dated 7th May 2012 they made it mandatory for all the healthcare providers irrespective of public sector or private sector they need to notify every case of the TB to the local authorities that is district health officer or the chief medical officer the CMO or DHO to the CMO or the DHO they need to notify if any case is noted it is now mandatory for all the healthcare providers to notify every tb case to the local authorities that is cmo and dho further ban on tb serology was done so we see that the serological test now they are based on antibody response which is quite uh, very variable in cases of tb and it will reflect some remote old infection rather than the active disease these serological tests uh, they have very poor specificity and hence they should not be used for the diagnosis of pulmonary or extra pulmonary tb hence the ban on tb serology was done you can see here currently the available serological test they are having very poor specificity hence they should not be used for the diagnosis of pulmonary or extra pulmonary tb okay ban on serology tb serology moving further we have direct benefit transfer scheme the direct beneficiary transfer systems are established by linking the tb patients who are reported in nikshay they are linking the tb patients reported in nikshay with their aadhar card and pms to effectively deliver the benefits to tb patient what is our main aim we want to deliver the um, whatever the facilities what benefits they are getting directly to the tb patient and their providers hence we are linking their aadhar card and pms moving on to the newer initiatives newer initiatives are daily regimen for pediatric tb you can see here the regime for pediatric tb what are the drugs given and what is the dose for uh, if the baby uh, 10 to 12 mg per kg the dose 15 so national guideline and according to world health organization guideline it is just an example to understand what do they mean by regime here okay so pediatric regime uh, daily regime for the pediatric tb patients so in order to uh, in order to transition the country to the updated guidelines of this pediatric treatment uh, the World Health Organization dosing guidelines, the government of India now has decided to introduce this uh, daily dosing regimen using the child friendly fixed dosage combinations. So this uh, government of India adopted the pediatric daily regime for pediatric TB. Next we have daily regime for all forms of TB just like how in pediatrics I showed you the example of the regime similarly according to the World Health Organization guidelines uh, we have the daily regime for all forms of TB if it could be MDR, TB, XDR any form of TB we have a daily regime regimen and we have pilots for universal assistant TB cases followed by universal drug susceptibility testing so dst universal drug susceptibility testing so we know that uh, cbnaat covering all districts uh, for the diagnosis of drug resistant tb uh, services was done so they expanded this uh, rapid molecular diagnostic services that is they included cnaat okay cadridge nucleic acid amplification test so uh, they bought in this and uh, they scaled up the rapid molecular diagnostic tests and the tb services followed by short regime and bedaquiline so in 2018 what happened the shorter regimen and bedaquiline for treatment of drug resistant tb patients was expanded in our country so they adopted the short regime and bedaquiline Last we have campaign mode. 
So in the campaign mode, the active case finding is done. In order to reach the unreached, the program has carried out the systematic active TB screening. In the high risk populations, they did this active screening of the TB. Okay, active TB screening was done. Through house visits, you can see the women making a house visit. That is to uh, detect the active TB cases, especially the target uh, population like the tribals, old age homes where TB could be prominent. Okay, and uh, orphanages, camps, slums, etc. Okay, so these were the newer initiatives. Uh, let's just revise it again. What were the uh, new initiatives? regime or regime we have three things under this daily regime for pediatric patients daily regime for uh, all forms of tb short regime and bed aquiline. these are the three points followed by pilots for universal assistance to tb cases universal drug susceptibility testing dst and campaign mode dst and campaign mode Campaign mode, you know what do they what they do in campaign mode. So this was all about TB, the new initiatives and newer initiatives. So let us just quickly brush in uh, five minutes all the things what we studied from the start. So we started with what is TB, right? What is TB? TB is an infectious disease caused by mycobacterium tuberculosis. So the program was started in 1962. NTP was later uh, in 1993 they changed it into a new thrust was given uh, taking international uh, agencies assistance and it was transformed into RNTCP and they adopted the DOT strategy and they included the smear microscopy and uh, the supply of drugs was also strengthened. In the objectives, 85% cure rate was uh, uh, the main aim or objective. The goal was to achieve 85% cure rate by adopting the DOTS uh, strategy and also using this peripheral health workers. And second uh, objective was to detect 70% of the cases using the quality sputum microscopy. What does the DOT strategy include? The political bill and administrative commitment, diagnosis, uh, the provision of the drugs, chemotherapeutic drugs, and directly observed treatment, DDD, okay? DDD. First thing is diagnosis, and then uh, we have uh, drugs, supply of drugs, and uh, directly observed treatment, systemic monitoring and accountability. Followed by, we have stop TB strategy where we are pursuing the quality dots, addressing the TB cases, contributing to the health system strengthening, engaging the care providers, empowering patients and communities and enabling and promoting the research. In 2014, they adopted this NTB strategy, which was a 20 year program. What was the vision? Zero death, zero suffering, zero disease from TB. And in the view of uh, the national tuberculosis uh, targets, what they did was elimination program targets, NTB targets. What they did was in the view of end TB target, they renamed it into RNTCP program into national tuberculosis elimination program. So far it was RNTCP. Now it became into national elimination program. Following, we have this laboratory services. In the first place, we had peripheral laboratories which were situated in all of these places. And uh, those uh, centers, we did not have the uh, lab facility. They were having this collection, sputum collection center. And uh, these large hospitals were supplied with x-rays, CBNAAT, and uh, aspiration cytology, histopathology, culture facilities. And uh, at the state level, we had intermediate laboratory where we have CBNAAT sites and DRTB sites. We saw this DRTB where they will uh, uh, like uh, give uh, treatment to the specialized uh, cases of drug resistant TB. And then at the central level, we had the six national reference laboratories and uh, the diagnostic includes the smear microscope, culture, solid and liquid. And we have uh, uh, RDMT, uh, radiography, tuberculin skin test 
एंड न्यू वर इनिशिएटिव फर्स्ट कम्स न्यू इनिशिएटिव निक्षय अंडर निक्षय द फर्स्ट थिंग इज द फंक्शन सॉफ्टवेयर ओके द सॉफ्टवेयर कॉम्पोनेंट्स दैट इट इज मास्टर मैनेजमेंट एंड द एस एम एस अलर्ट्स आर गिवन टू द रजिस्टर रजिस्ट्रेशन द पर्सन हु इज गेटिंग रजिस्टर्ड एंड ऑल्सो टू द ऑफिसर एंड इट इज़ अ मोबाइल एप्लीकेशन वेर वी गेट अ टी बी नोटिफिकेशन एंड वी इन द ऐप इन द ऐप वॉट ऑल डू वी नोट डाउन वी नोट डाउन द पेशेंट्स डिटेल्स द डिटेल्स अबाउट हिज कल्चर मीडिया वी नोट डाउन द रजिस्ट्रेशन ऑफ द पेशेंट विद ऑल द डिटेल्स डी आर टी बी पेशेंट्स विद ऑल द डिटेल्स एंड द डिटेल्स अबाउट हिज रेफरल्स एंड ट्रांसफर ओके क्लियर नेक्स्ट इन द टी बी नोटिफिकेशन वी सेट दैट ऑल द केसेस हैव टू बी रिपोर्टेड टू द लोकल अथॉरिटीज डी एम डी एच ओ और सी एम ओ एंड वी बैंड दिस टी बी सेरोलॉजी बिकॉज देर वॉज नो स्पेसिफिसिटी इट वॉज नॉट स्पेसिफिक इनफ सो वी बैंड दिस सेरोलॉजिकल टेस्ट एंड डायरेक्ट बेनिफिट ट्रांसफर स्कीम सो वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट वी गिव रुपीज फाइव हंड्रेड राइट फॉर दोज पीपल हु आर स्टेइंग इन द हॉस्पिटल एज अ डेली वेज कॉम्पनसेशन फॉर दोज हु आर गेटिंग ट्रीटेड द टी बी डायग्नोज इंडिविजुअल्स वी आर गिविंग दम फाइव हंड्रेड कॉम्पनसेशन एवरी डे एज अ डेली वेज कॉम्पनसेशन सो दैट इज दैट इज द रीजन वी आर लिंकिंग दर आधार एंड पी एम एस टू डेलीवर दी these benefits to the tb patients next we have newer initiatives wherein we studied about the regime that is daily regime for pediatrics for all forms of tb short regime and uh, pilots for universal assistance to tb cases and uh, universal drug susceptibility test testing drug susceptibility testing and campaign mode okay Uh, i hope all the uh, points are clear and uh, if you like the video hit the like button and subscribe and if you have any doubts put it in the comment section thank you